Qatar steps in to support the UN's Palestinian Refugee Agency as it faces a chronic underfunding crisis. Dutch media is under fire once again for questioning Moroccan mothers at Qatar 2022. Stick around to find out why. Qatar Red Crescent Society is on the grounds in Syria for vaccine distribution. And finally, this Japanese national team player can now call Qatar his new home. Hi, it's Fatma and this is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. $2.5 million in emergency support has been provided by Qatar to the United Nations Agency for Palestine refugees. Crucial step comes as the humanitarian entity faces a major funding crisis. UNRWA has suffered with what it described as chronic underfunding that has hampered its ability to support Palestine's refugees also struggling to pay staff salaries. The UN agency provides assistance to millions of Palestinian refugees around the region. A Dutch-based news outlet has come under fire for taking aim at the Moroccan team's celebration with their mothers at the World Cup. In an article titled Stop Glorifying Mothers, the writer argued Quote, the Moroccan woman is far too much of a mother and nothing else. The article centered around a widely reported moment at Qatar 2022 sparked criticism online with many pointing out issues with white feminism attempting to target Muslim family values. And now the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines by the World Health Organization to tens of thousands of displaced Syrians in northern Syria is being monitored by the Qatar Red Crescent Society. A total of 29 QRCS staff are overseeing the vaccine distribution, which is covering the country's side of Aleppo and Idlib. 50 vaccination stations and more than 100 mobile teams are available as part of the second phase of the campaign. And finally, Japan defender Shoko Teniguchi has been officially signed by Qatar's LA Young Club. 31-year-old center back started two games at the World Cup 2022 in Qatar, where the Samurai Blue reached the round of 16 after defeating the likes of Germany and Spain. It's unclear how much the deal with the Qatari club is worth. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co.